A few years ago, I met an 11-year-old boy called Oliver, who suffers from a currently incurable genetic skin condition called EB. Never have I seen anything so heartbreaking and distressing. EB makes children's skin as fragile as wet tissue paper. The slightest knock or rub, even rolling over in bed or a mother's hug, can cause blistering. The constant damage can cause fingers and toes to completely fuse together. Children with EB need their blisters pierced, drained and dressed in an agonising routine lasting up to six hours a day. Even the eating of solids can have a devastating effect on the mouth and the esophagus and all too often damage to the eyeballs can result in a child having to sit in the dark for two to three days until they've healed. Some 5,000 children and adults are affected by EB in the UK alone. And one such child is Adana Forsyth, who was recently visited by GMTV. Every parent knows how hard it can be to get their children up and out in the mornings. But for Diane Forsyth and her little girl Adana, it's a living nightmare. I need to win. I love you. You love me. The six-year-old was born with an incurable genetic disorder known as EB. It causes the skin to blister at the slightest touch. It means that she's living in constant agony and her mum can't even hug her to make it better. Every morning, Diane spends two hours wrapping Adana's body in dressings and preparing 14 different medicines to reduce the risk of infection. It all has to be done, but the distress it causes is unbearable to watch. It breaks your heart to do it every day. I feel very proud of her. I think she's very, very brave. With the NHS unable to provide the specialist services urgently needed, it's Deborah alone that families turn to. Deborah clinics at Great Ormond Street, Birmingham and Glasgow work to ease the suffering and respite holiday homes provide some welcome relief. Deborah also funds international research aimed at developing successful long-term treatment. But all this comes at a cost. Deborah receives no direct money from the government, so every single penny has to be raised by Deborah itself through corporate support, trusts or individual donors like you. With your help, the lives of children affected by this cruel, life-threatening disease can be changed forever. Please give generously, because together, we can find a cure, not in the distant future, but in our lifetime. <laughs>